A new type of breast implant giving cancer survivors new confidence. Courtney Garish takes a closer look at how this works. Ladies, have you ever wanted to get breast implants, but you're worried about getting it just right? One option lets you test drive your cup size. <laughs> 41-year-old Julie Brown is grinning from ear to ear, not just because she's a successful legal analyst, a real estate guru, and a proud mom of two. She's happy to be alive. Been through a lot. She may only be in her early 40s, but Julie is a two-time breast cancer survivor. Her first diagnosis came at the age of 29. She had those lumps removed and opted for saline implants to reconstruct both breasts. That was back in 2001. Surgery back then, it was, I don't want to say more barbaric, but it kind of was. It was, it was a little more taboo, mm -hmm. I would say. Fast forward to her second diagnosis more than a decade later, and Julie is happy to talk about her adjustable implant. I didn't feel the pressure. I didn't feel the pain. And then they were slowly filled over six months. So I was able to decide what size did I want, what shape did I want, where did it, how far did I want to go with it. We allow our patients to test different sizes, you know, take it for a test drive, see how you like it. Dr. Joseph Meza in Fort Myer says the procedure has actually been around since the 70s as an option for cosmetic purposes and a way to help stretch the skin for mastectomy patients. So being able to adjust up and down I think is a wonderful thing. You can try different outfits, you can try different clothing, you can see how things look. That implant is filled with saline and patients can keep coming in to adjust for about six months to a year before making a final decision on the implant size. Julie says playing an active role in deciding how how her body will look is crucial. I think it's better to go in there and be a little bit smaller and enlarge yourself over time than to go in there and come out and feel like you've done something horribly wrong. Dr. Meza says the only downside to the adjustable implant would be it requires a minor procedure to take out the port. Courtney Garish, today's TMJ4. Courtney, thanks.